And welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Episode 3. Those balloons don't look that good back there. Anyways, give me there. So, have you got my Mega Potion yet? Right. Let's see if this soothes the savage me. Oh, who he does it ever. You hey, passed challenge number two. Welcome to the Capital Sea Caravan. Only two. Kindred Hunter, let the adventures begin. Is that? You know, right into Marquez? Uh, I might have known. Don't forget to take that feline with you. You know, the Palico waiting in your house. Palico's living and breathes to help you out in the field. Take yours out on the hunt. She's mighty lonely. Alright, I'll tell the guild mom to get that quest counter and run good and proper so you can take on some real quests. Alright, then you ought to be good to go. Ha, huh, I forgot one last thing. Valharbor's big old gathering hall. So, honors, and I figure you might want to link up with someone. If you do, the gathering hall is the place to go. Like a play, you can hunt with friends right next to you. Oh, Paul. <laughs> you know, with an online multiplayer, you can name them up with folks around the world. How's them apples for you? I like the old master if you want to hear the full spiel. He's a fellow with a uh, twitchy pipe. You all set, can you honor? Good. Come around here, we'll see you hunt and see if I can find us a cook and a merchant. I see a merchant to the left and I see a cook off screen over to the right. See you, go back to your house from you, are. Okay. But that should actually mean that we can do the DLC like hunting thing now. Maybe there are palicos standing on this table here. Puzzle! What is. Meow? Is that. I don't know. Palico just isn't meant to fly solo. Everything you've heard about me running around the ancestral step. You know, my perfect tear sucked face in the grass every few miserable steps is wrong, meow. Yeah? Uh, I welcome to you to my caravan, Hunter Maggot. Holy folk call me the Ace Palico, meow. Yeah? Palicos of my caliber serve only the finest hunters. I am the Acme, the Apex, the uh, Pimpicable, Pansicle, whatever. I'm the best Palico the world has ever seen, meow. Yeah? Now, Odo, you smell like inadequacy, kid, but never fear, meow. Pago, like me, at your side, you should be able to fumble your way through some kind of hunting career, meow. All you have to do is unleash my own arsenal of promising booze as meowster using the Pago board over there. What was he set up? Which Pagos you want to deploy and modify their equipment, meow? I just want to join you on the hunt unless you tell us a voice. Remember to select the voice I trained to set it up, meow. Perhaps you could help me work towards my own noble goal, not that I need help, meow. See, so, yeah, I'm on the lookout for sub Pagos who are willing to serve me the way you do. You can acquire new sap cows from other hunters or directly hire wild palicos you meet in the field. Wild palicos and palico equipment are like hairballs, so sure to come along if you're patient, meow. Can't try to wrap your flimsy head around everything I've told you indefinitely, meow, to the palico board. And while you're at it, uh, um, the yes, are touching um, help in the upper left corner of the touch screen. There's no shame in reading, meow. Got a kid? Good. Let's make this start a beautiful, oppressive relationship, meow. Don't forget to set me for deployment using the palico bar, bro. Where's the palco board? Salutation, Master. May I call you Master? I'm the housekeeper in your caravan's employ. I'm the same one from the last game. Yeah? So the word I'll be there at your beck and call. I provide many services. Watch a movie or a cutscene again, allow me to show you with the gathering, yeah? For more quests, seeking unique palicos, meow, and the internet for downloadable content. So you see, Master, if you're looking for a little sugar and spice in your hunting life, then I'm your feline, yeah? I do need to run through very Two very important points to you, so clean the wax out of yours, meow. One, before the queen of the game, remember to use the bet to save, meow. Two, when you return from a hunt, I highly recommend you use the uh, item box to organize your items, meow. And thank god there's actually a uh, item box right outside the hunting gate. How uh, can I help you, meow? Oh, well, content. Sure, it's what's gonna happen. One hundred and two download requests. I have nine palicos. Whatever those are. Oh dear. How's the thing gonna happen? Handle two connections at once. Oh. For a second, I thought there was a poor frame rate, but that's just how it works. Wait, not content previews. Let's see, do I have everything? I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have everything. I mostly just wanted to... Because I think... We have that Mario and Luigi stuff. Yeah. 
I don't need that. Hmm. Wait, what? Interesting. So I'm gonna do this in the DLC part. Which I'm pretty sure Achi is able to start after this. Wait a second. What was that above us? Oh, that's a giant paw. Deploy. Deploy. Leadership. Okay. Well, Pot, this put me with lots of my pals and I'll cherry pick from their skills. Okay. See, I don't actually understand how to do any of the DLC stuff. Oh, hi, Marm. Are you okay? Oh, Puzzle actually follows me. I'll be honest, I actually like Puzzle a lot better than um, Cha Cha and whatever the other one was called. Kiambe? Kiambe. What's that name? Power goes to your team. Hey, great partners, don't they? Now I have some important news, yeah? Use my courier services to activate Sweet Pass. You can provide Palicos to them as you can. Run you through the steps, yeah? First, activate Sweet Pass for use with this game. Does he know he's in a game? Select Palicos from Sweet Pass settings and choose a Palico you want to send to the hunters. So there's to it, yeah? You can send your Palicos to as many hunters as you like. Person, look after the Palicos they send to you. You can check in on them using a Palico box. Palico, you want to hide from the Palico box? And that's it. You don't have to send a Palico to receive one. Meow for this, am I right? May Palicos be many and your hunts fruitatious. You've got more Meow than a feline has lies, Hunter. Just drop these guild cards in your guild card inbox, yeah? Really? What, what was that? Odd. Wait, that's super odd. Like, the lights just flashed, yet I don't have lights on. Okay. Ah, right, take this gift as a token of my appreciation. Thanks for using carrier service, yeah? Dash juice. Vouchers. See cards? Uh, sure. Oh my goodness. Palicos. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a blue cat. How do you do? Oh great, not- oh that's right, there's thieves aren't there. Launching, healing, protection, fighting, fighting, stealing, and stealing. I'm gonna take Florian I guess? Master info. Oh wait, uh, guild card. Jabes, you have a Jabe. I'm gonna take old gal, I guess, just because. I mean, Jabes is like 300 at something hunter rank. So are they just in a box? Quest. Um. Hmm. Huh. 
sure, why not? <laughs> um, so right now I sort of want to do that G rank quest. That's really what Puzzle needs. Someone have more? Oh, yeah, there's a salesman here. Bob we'll Armory. Ah, sit up, Panta. Oh, sorry, I tend to shut that one of our say customer. Ah. Still a variety of weapons and armor, and you're, I'm your defense depot, your offensive, um, aphorium. Yeah, material seizes so with me, but I let, um, but I let you buy what you need with good old fashioned cashola. Bam! Money talk, Hunter! Sorry, did I get in deny? Meh. I suppose my shop doesn't need a lot of explaining, does it? Go ahead and take a look around. Anyway, bam! Suit up, Hunter! I'm good. You're getting real suit, meh. Raikun? Fishmongress? What are you doing here? Step right up, step right up. You there. You're new to Val Harbor, aren't you? Yeah, that big beautiful ship back there? That's a gathering hall. I never get tired of looking at it. We never plan our feet in one place too long. We drift along wherever the gathering hall takes us. Oh, so is that a giant ship? I guess so. Well, moves and so does Val Harbor. We got a caravan of caravans and just paradise. Hey, Paradise, have I got a hot selection of lines for you? Stop by before every quest. No one will get new stock in. Heck, I even I don't know. The world's full of possibility, huh? Come on, have a gander. Hi. Oh, great. Fucking books. I mean, you know me, I love reading. Okay. Oh, it's still in the same place. Okay. You guys ready for some reading? Linian. My pet of creatures are resembling cats, known for the light hair. Though well, usually docile, they will attack viciously provoked. She carries some threat to enter human society. They are fond of fell and will follow the scent anywhere. Mailings. Fuck you. I've had old creatures resembling cats known for their dark hair. More curious than felines and possessed by kleptomania, mailingses take what they steal back to their dens. Feel vine intoxicism, causing them to sometimes drop items. Alteroth. Insects that widely. well, those things. While they inhabit, inhabit many areas, they absorb fruit, hunt mushrooms, and honey, and then carry those things back to the nest. This can thus be collected from the swollen abdomens whose colors relate to what's being carried. Can't you? These things. Yep, Turans that travel widely for food and can survive in almost any environment. Aren't you roll to balls, both to protect themselves and defend off threats. These shells are fairly easy to procure and are highly prized by armors. Nabra. These things. Evades the flying insects that attack invaders with paralyzing venom and lay eggs and carrying along with the fluid that hasten, hastens decomposition. Does it kill them with poison so that their parts are left ripe for the carving? Seltas. Turns that use swift area movements to attack invaders on the ground. Their appendages on their head can make their lunging attacks quite dangerous, although they sometimes they will shoot their target and slam them to the ground. Ercilia. A Timnerosiron spins webs to defend territory and help brave. They bind foes that have been hit by ailments and devour them with giant mandibles. They are fond of wearing hides left by the Gyperserious prey they consume. Kelby. However, is known for their gentle demeanor as well as their medicinal properties of the horns. When you harvest a um, horn, should stun the cowboy with blunt attacks and then sever it while the animal is still alive. Heptanoth. The tilfy docile herbivores with characteristic crass plates, form herbs and weighs young cumulatively. It uses pack animals for generations. Their meat is tasty and nutritious, and they're very cautious around lion monsters. Monopolis. Two territorial herbivores with poor fusion but acute hearing. Monopolis will doggedly pursue any target they sense. They often run into boulders, perhaps because they cannot easily stop once they break into a run. Garagua. That's the emo things. Because remember, at this point I've just um, hunted the purple Ludros for the first time. Hutless plain dwelling bird, wyverns with vestigial winds. Quite timid, Gorgar have been known to lay their eggs when other creatures surprise them from behind. They raise his livestock in numerous villages. Jaggy. High social carnivorous bird wyverns that live in large packs. Young jaggy males hunt in groups when attacking larger animals. Not to see wyvern eggs. Research suggests they operate on orders from a single alpha male. Jagia. Female jaggy that same packs. Jagias generally live near the nest and are responsible for defending and raising young. One of the mature males, but larger and tougher than the packs, countless young males. Sobrey are orders from the alpha. The alpha being great jaggy. 
Have a male that leads Jaggy Packs. Most males leave the group upon reaching maturity, returning later to compete with others. Another male then becomes a great Jaggy. Apparently, they can issue fairly complex orders via howling. Velociprey. Crests of carnivorous monsters that often track, um, travel and hunt in packs. Mass hunters are careful not to let themselves get surrounded by these predators. Region, they're known to inhabit the Everwood. Velocidrome. Alpha monsters that lead Velocibrae trap packs. Larger than their brothers and with a more prominent crest, Zerum use their strong hind legs to leap at prey, pinning them with sharp claws before calling for others. Gen prey. So is this the new, like, three versions? Arrives with a distinctive green and orange, well, gen prey. Um, orange striped hide. Gen prey live, gen prey, they in packs in the second hall and, um, Primal Forest. Their claws and large fangs contain a paralyzing neurotoxin that they use to stun prey. Gendrome. Alpha monsters that lead Genprey packs. Larger than their brothers and with a more prominent crest, Genprey uses its venom, highly evolved fangs, and claws to paralyze their prey. Yan could go This thing. Is this the fu- Yes, this is the one that- I just realized, because this is a monster that annoys me in this game. It's the same thing as the Carrot Becco, isn't it? Armed with huge beaks and large ears that display open when it's angered. No sense of hearing, it just likes loud noises. It's smaller but faster than other wyverns. Dice. Gypsus Sirios. Runes that can generate disorient flashes of light by striking their prominent crests. Their eyes resist blunt impacts and make Chuck Rex self effective. They're poisonous saliva, they spit can flow down slopes. Ketchawacha. Fang beasts with limbs adapted to swing through forests and memories on their forelegs for gliding. Poke the shield their faces with giant ears, blocking out any loud noises and brilliant light. Conga. Only two. Ape like, um, fang beasts with pink fur. I prefer to live in small groups as opposed to large packs and probably inhabit warm, humid environments. Tetsukaba. Fabians with their giant toads. Unique jaws and tusks that they use to sift through rocks and prey. Powerful iron legs to traverse steep terrain. This supports movement, but can become vulnerable with exhortation. Well. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that only took like six minutes. I'm the caravan, doodle. You're past, Radi da da. So, with the challenges challenging? You don't say. Well, it looks like we'll be working together regularly. I went ahead and officially opened the quest counter. You're gonna tap two star quests. The real deal. I can see the coming all over your sweaty face. Well, doodle, I know it's not much, but have a look at the list. I guess there has to be at least one fetch the unique mushrooms quest so you don't mess with the tradition here at the guild. Uh, an quest for Jaggy, which are like Lark or Jaggy. So, definitely, least it's Kelby on delivery. You'll have to knock the sufferers out to get them. Uh, yeah, these quests look uh, really challenging, doodle. Be careful not to stub your toe out there. Any quests? Oh, okay, so it's a bunch of training stuff. Which is hunt the uh, Slay a Great Jaggy. I'm gonna do one of them. Yeah, be careful out there. And I'll probably do the rest of them. Now, oh, let's eat for the first time. So, what do you want? You have the open air kitchen or a gathering hall canteen earns you stat boosts and activates food skills. This um, effects disappear after one quest. Select ingredients and pick two ingredients for your meal. After that, select the cooking method and confirm. Food. Um, the effects of your meal vary based on the combination of ingredients, the freshness, and the cooking method. Pay with either money or caravan points. So, it's resources from the last game. Use a voucher or a gourmet voucher, not only will your meal be free, but all the ingredients will be fresh. Oh, rice. That's an element needs. Eh, yeah, we'll do that. Because, you know, my shield actually stuns. I like this a lot better than the, um, chef, <laughs> than the chef in the first game. Well, in third, three ultimate. Come here, me okay? And let us go. This is weapons training. We're not gonna. Why not get the? Okay. Hello, Ace Cadet. Weapons training. So you want to know about the sword and shield? Well, settle down and listen up. And for a weapon that offers quick strikes and good mobility, then by Gashalos is this the weapon for you. 
comes with a shield from blocking, making a great choice for noobs there. I mean, I don't mean imply. <clears throat> Rumors that the damage dealt per hit is pretty weak, but there's a workaround with that. Attack a lot. Never mind, let's run through the basic controls. Super easy stuff, I promise. Then basic attack, A button, special attack, say forward slash, R button block, you can perform basic combo attacks, by just jamming on the X button. Easy, easy peasy. Oh, another perk of the sword and shield, you can use items even while your weapon is drawn. And just press the Y button while blocking. This is your first time using the sword and shield here, let me teach you some pro tips. You need off with a forward slash by pressing that X and A buttons, then tap the X button to lead into a combo. If you find yourself in trouble, press the B button to evade or hold down the R button to block. Got it? And for the more advanced techniques, this is stuff you need to know to really master the sword and shield. You shot special attacks with the A button. If you press the A button while pushing on the circle pad, you can perform a shield that does blunt damage. When you come off, you pull the um, circle pad back and hold down A. That looks a charge slash. Okay, it's hold down. It's the single most powerful sword and shield deck, like in the whole world. You can add a dollop with some of that special A button sauce during combos. You saw the difference in sword and shield combat, plus you look pretty groovy as too. Because all this stuff is in your under and zone too, you know. And then you'd rather learn it from me, I mean, I'd feel the same way if I was you. I guess that's it for today's training. Class is dismissed. Alright, good day. Yeah, well, just stop by the arena and kill him on your way out, okay? Later. Oh, I had this sword. Okay, and that's where. That's where a jump slash is gone. Wait a second, I can keep first aid? Hello, old friend. Oh, that was a mess up. Now, how's that FPS doing? Okay, mounting. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, Gilmore, are you not gonna do that? You did, dude, you totally mounted that monster. You didn't teach you about that? How you can mount a monster by using jump attacks on certain parts of the body? Think down by hammering it with the X button. If you're lucky, you can knock the monster over to destroy a part of its body. I'm not gonna make it easy for you, of course. I'll try and buck you off. You just hold down the R button to stop stabbing to cling on as tight as you can. Like that. Okay, so our goal is to fill the bar with a light cyan blue and not let that monster chomp its way up to the end of the bar. If you do that correctly, then you can then it'll um fall over. Like for its head. Oh. You can tell it's been a while. Yep, hip check right at me. Okay, I already like the. Oh, it's already tired? Trying to get him to do that. That's how you do it, I think. Now. Okay, that was a little further than I expected. Oh, Melissa. Let's see, do I remember how to use these? Uh, apparently not. Let's run up here. So this is the arena that I'm gonna have to fight in now. Thank you for waiting. Now if you take a step on the thunder side, we can get the sun. Don't you just let me curve first aid from you? Yeah. It looks like you can actually keep first aid medication on you. That's new. 
Oh, first aid med plus. Wait a second. Odd. But that's what you get when you mix honey and first aid medication. And with that, I think we sort of actually know how to use the sword and shield now. Unbox. Oh, actually. Want all this stuff. Oh, 350. Okay, well, so what I'm probably, I mentioned this before, but in the collecting part, whenever we switch to, no, good, engineers, not really, um, whenever we switch to an actual, like, new weapon type for the collecting of all the items, upgradable items, assuming you can in this game, um, then I will, um, do one of those. But then again, that's probably gonna be a hundred or, like, two hundred episodes from now, uh, so, uh, I guess that's it for this episode, so, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. It is possible that the DLC stuff will have been recorded, well, they better have been recorded, and uploaded at this point, so, eh. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!